Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel, Physics from 5 KSSM. I will continue on 2.5 Archimedes Principle Part 3 in this video. And I will discuss on learning standards, solve problems involving Archimedes Principle and buoyancy. And then I will discuss on formative practice 2.5 and extra exercise. In my previous video, I have discussed about formula for buoyant force. I hope you still remember what is stated by Archimedes principle. When an object is in a fluid, buoyant force equals to weight of fluid displaced. Then we have derived a formula Fb equals to rho Vg. When an object is floating in a fluid, buoyant force equals to weight of the object and at the same time equals to weight of fluid displaced. So we are going to apply this concept in order to solve calculation problem involving Archimedes principle. Let's look at some example. Example 1. Figure 1 shows a line L on a boat. As you can see, this is line L. The volume of the boat below the line L is 2.8 meter cubed. The mass of the boat is 600 kilogram. What is weight of the maximum load that can be carried by the boat? Given density of water, 1000 kg meter to the power negative 3, and gravitational acceleration g equals 9.81 meter second to the power negative 2. Let's look at the forces that act on the, on the boat. There is total weight of the boat and the load acting downward, WB plus WL. And there is a buoyant force, FB, acts upwards. Solution. Weight of the boat, WB, is equal to MG, meaning mass of the boat multiply gravitational acceleration. The boat is at rest, meaning forces are balanced. Thus, WB plus WL equals to FB. According to Archimedes principle, buoyant force FB equals to weight of water displaced that can be determined by using formula rho VG. From this relationship, we can determine weight of load. Weight of load equals to buoyant force minus weight of boat. So from this relationship or this formula, we get weight of load equals to weight of water displaced minus weight of boat. Okay. Weight, weight of water displaced is rho Vg, so we just substitute as density of liquid multiply volume of the boat below the line actually equals to volume of the liquid displaced. That's this one, we can substitute as 2.8 G 9.81 minus weight of the boat, meaning mass of the boat 600 multiply 9.81. So we get the answer as 21582 Newton. So this one is the weight of load. Thus, the maximum load that can be carried is 21582 Newton. If the equation needs you to find total mass of load, so you just take this weight and then you divide by 9.81. So you will get the answer in kilogram. Okay. Second example, photograph shows a raft floating in the sea. The mass of the raft is 54 kilogram and density of seawater is 1080 kilogram meter to the power negative 3. Gravitational acceleration is given. A, what is the weight of the raft? Weight, solution A, weight of raft, which I just marked as uh, WR, equals to mg. So mass, 54, multiply 9.1, thus we get 529.7 Newton. B, compare the weight of raft with the weight of seawater displaced. From the Archimedes principle, we have proved that WR, or weight of raft, is equals to weight of water displaced because from here there are two forces that act here 
is buoyant force and weight of breath. Because it stays afloat at stationary, thus weight of breath equals to buoyant force or equals to weight of seawater displaced. C. Calculate volume of water displaced by the raft using the relationships you stated in B. WR equals to weight of water displaced, thus equals to rho VG. So volume of water displaced equals to weight of raft divided by rho G. So 5 to 9.7 divided by rho density of seawater, G 9.1. Thus, we get 5 times 10 to the power negative 2 meter cube. So, this one is volume of water displaced. Okay. So, these are the forces that act. Eh? Okay. The ref afloat uh, stationary. So, you can use that relationship to solve eh, this question. Okay. Now, let's look at formative practice 2.5. Number 1. State Archimedes principle. So Archimedes principle states that an object which is partially or fully immersed in a fluid will experience a buoyant force equals to weight of fluid displaced. Number two, a small boat displaces 3.8 times 10 to the power negative 2 meter cube of seawater. Calculate buoyant force acting on the boat. You can see all the information given. So formula of buoyant force at B equals to rho Vg. Remember, buoyant force equals to weight of liquid displaced. So meaning rho must be density of liquid, volume must be volume of liquid displaced, and G. So for this one, the density of liquid 1050, volume of liquid displaced here, and then G. So you substitute and calculate, you will get 391.4 Newton. For number 3, figure 2.42 shows a block of mass 0.48 kg and volume 5 times 10 to the power negative 4 meter cube being held in water. The density of water is 1000. Determine the movement of the block when it is released. Okay. Density given, density of liquid, gravitational acceleration also given. Okay, what you do? Calculate buoyant force using formula rho v g. Substitute the value of rho v and g, and then you get 4.91 newton. And then calculate for weights of object using the formula w equals to m g. M is given 0 0.48 kilogram. Thus, multiply 9.81, we get 4.71 newton. If the block is at rest, meaning not moving, buoyant force must equal to weight of the object. But now from the calculation, we already show that weight of object is smaller than the buoyant force, meaning forces are not balanced. When buoyant force is greater than weight of the object, what happens to the object? The object will move upwards or accelerate to the surface of water. Okay, next question. Figure 2 shows three balls floating on the surface of water. Compare densities of balls P, Q, R. Okay, so we have the three balls. Okay. So how to explain this? You can see all the three balls floats, but different volume of liquid displaced because different volume of the submerged part. When an object floats on the surface of water, weight of object equals to buoyant force, or weight of object equals to weight of water displaced. From the formula of weight of the object, which is V rho G, volume of the object multiplied density of object multiplied G, equals to weight of water displaced. Volume of water displaced multiply density of water multiply G. So we can simplify, we can cancel both sides, G. Then we can have this relationship. Ratio of density of object to density of water is equal to ratio of volume of water displaced to volume of the object. So from here, we can see the relationship 
between density of object and volume of water displaced. In this case, we can use this relationship because the three objects are immersed in the same liquid. What we can say from this relationship, an object with a higher density will displace larger amount of water displaced. So that buoyant force is enough to balance the weight of objects. So the denser object need larger amount of water displaced because it requires higher buoyant force to support its higher weight. So from here we can compare the density. So from here you can see R sink more, more volume of liquid displaced, meaning R requires larger volume of water displaced or larger buoyant force. So in this case, density of R is larger than density of P, larger than density of Q. The next question, figure 3 shows hydrometer floating in a liquid. State the relationship between weight of hydrometer and weight of liquid displaced. Why is the smaller reading at the upper end of the stem of the hydrometer? From here, because of the hydrometer floating in a liquid at rest, so forces are balanced, thus buoyant force equals to weight of hydrometer, and hydro weight of hydrometer is equals to weight of liquid displaced. In a liquid with lower density, hydrometer sinks more, so that the volume of liquid displaced is large enough to produce buoyant force that can support the weight of hydrometer. Thus, the lower density must be marked at the upper end of hydrometer. Okay. Okay, next question. Figure shows a metal block with volume 3.2 times 10 to the power negative 4 meter cube hanging at end of a string and is fully immersed in water. What is tension T of the string? Given density of metal, density of water, and gravitational acceleration. Let's look at the forces that act on the, on the object. Because of hanging eh, <clears throat> at end of the string, there is a tension force T. There is weight downward, WO. There is buoyant force at V, acting upwards. Because of the metal block is hung at rest in water, forces are balanced. Thus, T plus FB equals to WO. Total upward force equals to downward force. So from here, we can write tension T equals to WO minus FB, meaning weight of the object minus buoyant force. Weight of the object, MO, mass of the object, multiply G, minus weight of liquid displaced, which is mass of liquid displaced, multiply G. Mass equals to rho V. Yeah? So for mass of the object, we can calculate as density of object, multiply volume of the object, times G, minus weight of liquid displaced as density of liquid displaced, and volume of liquid displays G. From here, this case is fully immersed. And fully immersed, volume of liquid displays is equal to volume of the object. So from here, I just substitute VL equals to VO, and then I just uh, factorize uh, VOG. So inside the bracket here is density of object minus density of liquid. Density of object is 9,000. Density of liquid is 1,000. Volume of the object, 3.2 times 10 to the power negative 4, is equals to volume of liquid displaced. Multiply G. Thus, we get 25.11 Newton. So, this is the tension on the string okay, for this type of question. So, that's all uh, for this uh, topic 2.5 Archimedes Principle. So, you must understand uh, the, the concept of buoyant force clearly in order to solve calculation problems involving Archimedes principle. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. Bye.